So the price of money interest rates have exploded in the last three years. But there's multiple ways to look at that data, right? Yeah, you look at interest rates and you can look at them in nominal terms, that is the number itself, or you can look at it in real terms where you subtract out the inflation rate. And at this point, we're still negative. So in spite of the Fed raising rates aggressively here in the year 2022, we've gone from a negative at the beginning of the year, negative 5.25 to a negative (laughs) 4.25. We've barely moved the needle at all. Um, with with inflation being factored into into the interest rate numbers. So last week, we have Jerome Powell saying uh, we have to continue to raise rates until we get to a positive real rate number. Well, that doesn't mean he's going to raise rates four and a quarter percent from here. It just means that he expects inflation to come down and they need to keep on raising rates until they get to a break even number. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it does mean that they have to continue to tighten. Why? Because a negative real rate is in, in is still incredibly stimulative to the economy and and they know that that's got to shift they actually need to downshift and, and and reduce that stimulus 